I think one of the most effective ways to use ChatGPT is like a research buddy. In the previous video I recorded, I was showing you how to ask it to give you some templates for interviewing a user. But I think there's another way to try and refine questions with ChatGPT. And this can really help you think about what you're trying to understand from your users or maybe the general research that you're conducting. For today's example, we're going to be looking at um, retrieving medical records. Maybe we have a client that has asked us to develop some solution around medical records. And I want to understand from users what they find to be the most convenient way to access their own medical records. So I was thinking about asking the question, uh, what is the most convenient way uh, for you to retrieve your medical records? So I'm just writing this out first just so I can see it and see if that's really what I want to ask. Yeah, okay. And then I'm going to say, how many other ways can I ask the question? And there we go. So it's going to start working. Here are a few alternatives. Hmm. All right. Interesting. So efficient. What's the best way, most suitable method? So it seems to be uh, like fixated on the word convenient here. So it's just like kind of rewriting this quickest, efficient. But this is already making me think, you know, I'm not really thinking about maybe quick or efficiency, actually. When I was asking convenient, I meant comfort. So maybe I'll try and say re... Uh, yeah. Um, Rewrite it, but folk rewrite these, but focus on comfort because it made me realize that I wasn't actually interested in efficiency. And I think that in itself is an extremely interesting and useful way to use a tool like this, because that's usually what you're going to do with someone else is you're going to try and suss out what's the core of what I'm trying to understand here. So let's see. Comfortable way. Okay, I mean, that's pretty obvious. Uh, okay. So mostly syn syntax in this case is just re relaxing. All right. Ah. So that fifth one is actually really good. But now it makes me think, like, what does at ease mean? Right? Am I thinking at ease, like, from a privacy perspective? Or is it at ease from a physical effort perspective or technological comfort. So again, more depth is emerging just from kind of like bouncing ideas against this tool. So I think I want to take that fifth question um, here and I'm going to say, uh, give me some follow-up questions to, and I'm going to paste that in there and we'll see what we'll get. All right. Why do you feel the most... Okay. Limitations to this method. Interesting. So it's trying to like come at this topic from a variety of different angles, which is in itself interesting, right? Like what are some alternative methods you considered? Is there anything that would make this method even more comfortable? Uh, what steps have you taken to ensure the safety and security of your medical records using this method? I mean, again, this is all super interesting to me that... You know, it, it seems to be like focusing on this. Um, let's say I want some more questions related to safety and security. Because I think that's really cool. Huh. Okay. All right. It's asking some things that, you know, maybe I wouldn't have considered here, you know. Uh, what measures do they have in place? All right. Cool. Then I kind of want to see now if we can like provoke it to become maybe specific to a certain state in the US. So maybe I'm doing this in California. So uh, give me some more questions. Uh, but this time uh, thinking, uh, but this time considering the legislation in California. And I'm not from California, so, you know, this might be really helpful. Or it might be very dangerous. 
Okay. I'm going to... Okay, so it's asking the other person what rights it has. Hmm. Ah, that's interesting. California Confidentiality of Medical Information Act. So, again, very cool, right? We're not asking you to write a script for us in this case. In this case, this is maybe more of an expert user who's trying to like suss out some extra information. So, uh, I'm curious about this act here, and I want to say like, what questions would be relevant to ask a patient with regards to V and we're going to put that in there hmm okay I don't <laughs> how do you feel that okay so again pretty general it's not uh you see, so this is where I think there might be two things at play here. Uh, I think on the one hand, um, it might just not know. On the other, it might be something on the back end of chat GPT that's sort of preventing it from giving me information about this because maybe they're, you know, open AI is just trying to protect themselves legally. Uh, so that's not giving me incorrect information. Uh, be more specific to the act I want I, I want to see if I can extract something from this okay ah no nothing it's not doing what I wanted to do <laughs> but but it still shows uh one thing here that's kind of interesting which is that um it's able to at least give me some nice rewardings for something so I can start bouncing it, ideas around in my head of like maybe what I want to learn about. For example, exceptions is interesting. Um, you know, uh, asking questions like uh, um, ensuring compliance with this, like what steps would you like them to see? So I think there's some stuff there that, you know, I got to all of this in a lot quicker um, and in a much quicker way than having, you know, than sitting here by myself and banging my head against my desk uh, to get more information out of it. But now I want to try one thing, which is what would be bad questions to ask? Because I think often as people, we're much better at understanding what we should do uh, or, or like what's good or what's bad when we can compare them side by side. So I want to see what happens if I do this. All right. Share. <laughs> oh no, I stumped it. Uh, what's going to happen? All right. Uh huh. Okay. That's kind of interesting. Do you think that the provisions of the act are being enforced effectively? Oh wow! I don't. I yeah. You know, I, I guess I didn't think that this would be a bad question. I don't know why it thinks that this is a bad question. Um, who do you blame? I guess there's something about sensitivity there. Uh, what about like what would be bad questions to ask with regards to acquiring medical records? All right, let's see what happens this time. All right. Why can't you just send me a copy? Huh? <laughs> yeah, these are pretty obvious, right? So it's like, it's not really doing any deeper thinking there. Um, but in a previous test I was doing, it actually gave me an excuse per question. So I want to see if I can try and extract it, extract that out of it this time. So. Can you give me a reason why uh, each of these questions is bad? Oh wow, you see? So that's kind of what, that, that's really cool. Um, what's 
fascinating to me is I got that in the past without forcing it to do it that way. But it's cool to know that that functionality is in there so that, you know, you can ask, you can try and figure out like why a question is bad or good. Um, so this is sort of a hidden functionality, I guess. And I'm kind of going at this tool like an interrogator right now. Uh, but it's, it's really fascinating to see it able to justify this kind of stuff. And then for me, as, a, as an interviewer, just having a tool like this to help me refine my questions and get something deeper is, is just very, very useful. Probably more useful than that previous video where I was showing you how to generate an entire script uh, through chat GPT with a single prompt. So, yeah, I hope you guys found this useful. I find this fascinating. Um, and, uh, you know, I'm often kind of trying these things out before the video, but then I try new things in the video as well. And so I, it's, it's, it's interesting to see how it gives me different things each time. And in this particular case, you know, we got a lot from this. We got rewritings to questions. We got follow-up questions, uh, refining questions based on topics, uh, based on a single, you know, act in this case, and then getting bad questions, getting reasons for why the questions are bad. It's, it's just crazy how this, how this can be so helpful for processing information, for bouncing ideas against, uh, you know, bouncing ideas against the wall and kind of getting more ideas of what you can do. So yeah, I hope this is helpful for you guys. And, um, I look forward to doing more experiments with this because, I just find it so cool to extract all this information out of a computer. Cheers.